Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Shadow of Mordor. We are going towards this tower to explore this area. Also take down the second bodyguard for uh, the war chief we're trying to kill. And since this stuff uh, is in the way, we're going to do that. First we're going to free an outcast. That will unlock us an outcast mission. Oh fuck. I don't want to start a full out war with all these guys. Okay. Stealthy enough, I guess. Yeah, they found the corpse. That serves as a distraction, too. Oh, God damn it! What are they fighting? What the oh, the Karagors. Karagors are... ...fighting down there. This is cool. Alright, you die. Uh, to free that guy, all we have to do is... BAM! Right, you're free. Go, run away. You're not running. I fucking hate you, dude. You should be running. You're not. I'm gonna free that Karagor too. Kill them! Go kill the orcs! You're not killing orcs. Alright, thank god. I don't know what this guy is waiting for. What are you waiting for? You're free- Oh no! Oh! Oh! No. These guys are no fucking joke! Oh. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Climb, climb, climb. I think I just killed the, the guy I just freed. Yeah, the guy I just freed is dead. Alright, time to tame you, boy. You can only tame these guys from above. Uh, for now. I think there's a skill that unlocks later. Hello, Arkham. Oh, by the way, for those on YouTube, I, I am streaming and recording at the same time, uh, so... For those of you who have been following the series, I said a couple of episodes ago that uh, I, there was a chance that I was going to do that, and I was testing it out, and that is the case. I'm live streaming right now. <laughs> I fucking found a captain by accident. Two captains! They both hate Karagor, so they're both in fucking enraged right now. Oh, get the fuck out of here. So yeah, frame drops, uh, if they happen, it's because I'm doing both at the same time. And also, if I answer questions randomly, it's not because I like talking to myself, it's because people are asking me questions on the streaming chat. And for those on YouTube curious for, uh, for me streaming... <laughs> one of the captains died without me doing anything. That's perfect. That is the best case scenario. Alright. Where's the other captain, by the way? There he is. Who the fuck are you? I don't even know that guy. All right. Uh, you guys want to kill that guy? Because I don't know what his abilities are. Oh, and that's my doggy. Good doggy. Kill him. Oh, it is not taking damage. Ah. Uh, okay. What the fuck? Wait. Three guys? Okay, he isn't vulnerable to range. Each captain has different vulnerabilities, different strengths. I fucking killed my own guy. Alright, another guy died. <laughs> I'm gonna kill three captains. Just by standing here. But that guy's not gonna die for sure. Ah, uh, okay, he's not invulnerable to stealth, but... He took, took damage from that. He's gonna kill the beast sometime. Because he's not taking any damage from the... the Karagor. Oh god. Oh, this is a fucking specialist in combat and now, now, now... This is not good. Oh, this guy killed me once already, apparently. Alright. Uh, Batman combat, for those on the stream, new to this game. It's attack and counter-attack, pretty much. That's the basics, and of course there's several variants to that. For example, some guys I can't just fucking attack. I have to stun them first. The example being this boss. Okay, and then there's the ground finisher that I tried to do there. Didn't work out, because you need so you actually need some time to do it. 
Oh, wait. I can't attack him. I can't fucking attack him. I can't jump over him. Oh. Alright, get out of there. Get out of there. Use your fucking superpowers, dude. Yeah. There we go. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Keep forgetting. My health's pretty fucking low. Uh oh, uh oh. So here's a death sequence. Hey! Oh, that was too light. Ah, god damn it. So. <laughs> god damn it, Arkham Inmate. Here's what happens when you die. Dying is actually pretty interesting in this game. So this guy killed me. He was level 1. He was just a normal grunt. So now he's getting promoted to captain. He's actually fighting that guy for a spot in captain. And he won, so he becomes captain. Congratulations, he's a captain now. This guy, he's the one I was fighting. He survived. This guy was having an event on the map. This guy was also having an event on the map, because time skips forward, and if I don't interfere with the, with the events, they will solve themselves and the orcs will grow in power. So this guy got promoted, the guy I was fighting just now. Uh, an unknown guy is getting promoted to captain. Alright. This is pretty bad. Because they're increasing in power and they're getting harder to kill. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, I'm still going after this guy. This guy is quite a few vulnerabilities. He can be killed with a single charge headshot, so that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, I can kill him from afar, no problem whatsoever. These black captains who summoned you, what do you know of them? Only men? Alright, so that was a failure. Uh, that is a rune. That is something that drops when you kill captains. Uh, what is this power struggle? Kuga painted, Goro chain driver, they are ki killing each other. That's good, I could step in and kill them both. That would be cool. Ishmael's broken shield is... Is such a pain in the ass. That guy has killed me so many times. He's so powerful right now. And this guy is actually interesting. So this guy killed me to uh, infiltrate. Uh, I mean, he killed me and he got promoted to captain. I'm trying to make him a war chief. <laughs> because there's an achievement for, uh, you know, a Nuru kills you and you make him an, a war chief. <laughs> so so uh, yeah, I'm trying to do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna let him do his hunt thing. He's gonna get more power for it. I'm just gonna try to eliminate his competition. Eventually, I'm gonna have to go uh, against Broken Shield. Uh, he's, he's way too strong. We were going for a stealth mission we before we uh, but encountered the power of the those guys. Lord, in flesh. His so yeah, the his deception and his will to power. Those are the events I was talking about. That if you just le leave them be. And if you're killed, time skips forward, and uh, what will happen is uh, they will solve themselves. So a fight between two orcs. Oh god, it's night time, so ghouls are out. This is another enemy type that I kind of don't want to deal with. Because they are a pain in the ass. They're a real pain. Okay, one of these guys has information, and it's this one. Come on, give me your information. What do you know? And this is how you gain intel. Like, uh, new guy? Okay, who's this new guy? There you go. It's already power 5. Jesus Christ. Uh, mounted beasts? That's probably how I would approach this guy. Oh, if he sees me, he will try to kill me, Bobby, by the way. I, I'm trying to promote him, but he, he doesn't know that. I'm just a filthy human for to him. So, yeah, if he sees me, he will tro totally try to kill me. Uh, oh, this is kind of detective mode. I can see through walls, I can see the enemies, but I can see much terrain. Oh, yeah, that, that was my bad. Again, okay. 
Now, just because you know who someone is, doesn't mean you know their strengths and weaknesses. This guy that killed me, for example, I know who he is, I've seen his face, but I've never analyzed his strengths and weaknesses, so that's what I'm doing right now. Grisha the Gluttonous. You're vulnerable to a bunch of stuff. I'm not scared of you. It's fine. Ugh. Gruesome. Alright, so we're still going for that. Uh... This is a thing. Pretty cool thing, I might add. So, bushes, you kinda hide automatically once you're in them, but you also have a stealth button. You can press. Like, I'm I'm not pressing the stealth button right now, and now I'm gonna press it. No difference. In a bush, there's no difference. Oh. Could get stuck with unbe an unbeatable enemy? I don't think so. I think there, sh there is a level... Oh, fuck! This guy saw me! I immediately do slow motion stuff. Slow motion stuff into kill. One. Kill. Two. No one else saw me, right? Okay. We're fine. Okay, yeah. We're, we're good. We're good. Uh, there are also some... Like, this this game really rewards you with uh, with exploration. And uh, there are... On the left, you see Survival Challenge 6 and Hunting Challenge 6. Uh, there's always a creature that the game is asking you to kill. And there's always some plants it's asking you to gather. I always forget what plants I'm gathering, so... I frequently have to pause just to see. So, I'm gathering the red crosses and the green sticks. That's how I memorize. There's a green stick there. There's also orcs coming this way. Let's just go. They're far away enough. Like, their line of sight is pretty bad. Let's just say that. Look at the distance and, yeah, they can't see me. It's fine. <laughs> Dialogue's pretty good and uh, enemies remember you, which is really satisfying. Uh, oh, Bait. Yeah, I know about Bait. It, it keeps t giving me tips that it's given me already, which is weird. Alright, let's get into this. This is a stealth mission, uh, and the more I do this, the more points I get. There are 10 total, and then I can unlock a super special ability for my dagger. There are also missions for bows, uh, and mission for the sword. Ledge kills. You want ledge kills. Uh, you want so the mission is always get stealth kills, but you have a, a bonus objective, and in this case, is get ledge kills. What I just did was attract this guy with a wisp power, sort of, and now easy peasy. Okay, let's go to that side. Parkour work kind works kind of like ooh, Assassin's Creed, but imagine if the Assassin's Creed guy had superpowers. By the way, uh, I'm gonna say it again, guys. If the sound is too loud for you, if the game sounds too loud or too low, let me know. It's very easy for me to fix it. So... Yeah, just let me know. Hello. Two. I'm trying to do the bonus objective first. Uh, three. <laughs> You might see the option to Brutalize or Stealth Kill, those are the two options. Uh, the Brutalize option is uh, to cause the everyone around the guy you just killed to kind of run away in fear. In this case it's useless because there's no around these guys. Uh-huh. Alright, so, how are we gonna handle this? We are going to arrow that guy. And stealth kill this one. Only one of them counts as a stealth kill, I believe? Actually, none of them count counted as a stealth kill. Because the other one was alerted. Got it, yeah. That's the, probably the case. I don't know how he doesn't see me, for instance. It's weird. Okay. 
Oh god, 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 oh god. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Why does everyone want to watch me dance single ladies? Come on. There's there's a much that there there are much more interesting videos on that channel. Uh, and like I said, Assassin's Creed with superpowers. Oh, stealth kill archers. That's why these don't count. One minute the archer was patrolling along the wall. The next he was falling to his death. Sleeping <laughs> up on Alright, so they will have marks on their heads, I guess. Yeah. Like you see the yellows. That's archers, and I wasn't paying attention to the text. Uh, let me see. Get up there. I guess there are a couple of archers up there. Yeah. Here's one. Attract the other. Ah, uh, sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Couple of beasts are trapped in there. Uh, yeah, I think I have to do this. Like, one, two, it's fine, okay. They have no clue. No, he can't become my friends. As mentioned before. Oh, wait, no, the chat scrolled up. I thought you were posting the same text again. I don't know, chat scrolls up sometimes, I don't know, it's weird. Then I have to get out of the game and do that. Scroll it down again. Stupid. Uh, huh. Ooh. To get to that guy, what's the best... What's the best way? Get here. And I guess... Can I make the jump? I, I think I can. Hang on. And two. Sweet. And the third one is going to be somewhere in that castle, I guess. Uh, Run up, up, up. Alright. Here's what we're doing. Ten. Success! Shit, get back. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that was one of the missions. The other one... Hmm, I could interrogate that guy. Uh, I'm not going to. There's way too many people there. Alright, let's go for the sword mission now. Oh, I did not see you. I'm sorry. Oh, they're fighting, okay. Oh, God. That's a fucking captain. I don't know anything about him. That's really stupid to just charge in. That's a surefire way to get you killed because you can't finish him in one hit and there's a ton of orcs around this area. So that's a, an easy way to call everyone to this spot. Uh, yeah. Not, not, not clever at all. 
And someday I'll get those runes. They are down there. Up for grabs. <laughs> but for now, I'm just worried about not dying. Okay. Oh, come on. Descending on the enemy camp, he cut off the Dark Lord's supply of new recruits. On that day, the trainees learned only of death. It's a fighting challenge. The fi the swords are pretty much fighting challenges. And by the way, the captains kind of despawn when you enter this. Melee executes. Okay. So first we gotta get into the training grounds. Shed the strategies of Mordor. You will strategize very, very soon. Chat. What's up, guys? Fuck you! Ouch. I got hit. I can't see. Okay. I can ex I can see again. <laughs> ah. Bam! Oh, okay, come on. Alright, he wants me to do five executes. Here we go. Number one. That's a special move, much like uh, ba the Batman Arkham Combat has uh, takedowns. This one has special moves like that. Once the, the combo gets red, you can use any combat moves you want. Pretty much. Here's another one. Ouch, okay. Alright. And five executes. There we go. <laughs> and once you're on the ground, easy finish. There we go. That was a fast one. Alright guys, that's gonna be about it for this episode. And uh, we'll be right back. See ya!